shortage of uh, skilled people chefs waiters and also for uh, unskilled people like uh, dishwashers cleaners and all that and then uh, the next generation of people are not going to put up with this long hours of uh, work you know because we don't have a social life when you are a restaurant uh, you are do the odd hours <laughs> This is a 3.5 billion pound sterling industry, and if you do, if you, if the, if the government doesn't save this industry, then it will be a catastrophe. It will be very very damaged to the economy. We employ directly 100,000 people. Indirectly, 250,000 people depend on, our, on this industry. So it is very, very important to save this industry. This is salt. Yeah, this is curry powder. Mixed curry powder. And then this mixed curry powder. that there is no glamour. Because if they become a solicitor or barrister or doctor, there is a lot of glamour in it. But whereas to become a chef takes about four to five years, at that time they can become a lawyer. So <clears throat> I said, well, there are a lot of glamour in our industry, like Gordon Ramsay, he's, he's a celebrity chef. But if we highlight a lot of our qualified chef, a lot of them are always in the mainstream. If we highlight them in the mainstream media, then slowly, slowly they will feel there is a glamour in it. A lot of uh, people, they're not interested to join our industry because they don't find any glamour, because they don't find any uh, proper skill there. I'd, I'd be absolutely devastated. Curry is uh, my, my favourite food, um, and, and one of my ambitions is actually to go to India to, to visit. I think it would be a great shame. I think most people can say, you know, from a very early early age, they always take out the curry house, and everyone's always enjoyed having a curry. And I think if you did kind of drop off the face of of society, well, I think it would be, make a massive be a massive shame. Ninety-nine uh, percent of my people are in this trade, you know, and uh, we know nothing else except this trade. So we are struggling. We'll keep on because the momentum is still on, is still there for us to carry on. But a time will come, I think, that uh, we will have to seize that uh, motion and realize that we are not making money anymore. We can't just uh, be, uh, you know, put uh, sweat and blood into it and keep on working like. Yeah, like that.